guys, today I wanted to show you how I cut my bird's toenails. In this video, I will be cutting Barry's nails and some of the canaries. For large parrots, you can use nail trimmers for dogs. I'll be using these. They are the Furminator trimmers. For small parrots or finches, you can use the nail clippers or the small animal trimmers that can be found in the pet store for ferrets or rabbits. And it's important to have quick stop on hand when doing this in case you cut too much. This can be found at Walgreens or any of those type of stores and it's a powder that goes on the nail to stop bleeding. For large parrots, I like to have them wrapped in a towel when trimming their nails. This especially works for parrots that are not used to having their nails trimmed. Barry is pretty used to this already, so you can tell that he's not bothered by being in this position. Using this method is for their safety, because if they move or jerk, you can easily cause them a severe injury. When holding them this way, you want to make sure to not hold their chest too tightly, and you don't want to press down on their chest, because you can actually stop them from breathing. You can also train a parrot to let you trim the nails without them being restrained, but I just feel safer with this method. It's difficult to cut the nails that are black because you can't see the quick, which is the blood vessel that runs through the nail. With black nails, you need to try to remove the sharp pointy part of the nail. I did these toes and no bleeding, so I went on to the last one. And then a few seconds later, the bleeding did start on one toe. And this is why you want to have quick stop. Once I put that on the toe, it stopped bleeding. Next, we're going to be cutting the canary's nails. If they aren't used to being handled, you need to try to be quick so you don't stress them out too much. I'm using a paper towel to hold them because the sweat from my hand will damage their feathers. And for the canaries, I can hold them with one hand and cut their nails with my other hand. And sometimes canaries need to have their beak trimmed, but right now I don't have one that needs that done to be able to show you. But this is how their beak should look, and if it's growing too long, I cut it with the nail clippers. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope it helps you with your birds. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!